Welcome to AH Tutorials, where we show you how to work on cars. And today we've been working on a radio for a 98 to 2002 Honda Accord. So let's get to it. For this, we're going to be using some pretty common household tools. First, we're going to be using a flat screwdriver. And after that, we're going to be using a Phillips screwdriver and then a smaller size Phillips screwdriver. First there's going to be two screws here on the, on the bottom and we're going to go ahead and take these out with our Phillips screwdriver. And once you do that, this plastic piece is going to pop off. Hmm. The first thing we're going to want to do is there's a clock right here and we're gonna want to take out this clock and underneath this clock is gonna be a screw the way we take off this clock is we're gonna use our flat screwdriver and there's gonna be a crack right here and we're gonna stick it between between there and we're just gonna pry it off it comes off pretty easy and once you once it comes off there's gonna be a few plugs and the way these plugs come off is you push down on these tabs and pull at the same time where my index finger is, tab, pull on it, comes out. And whoever worked on this car previously never put this screw back in, but there's supposed to be a screw right here. And you're gonna wanna take this screw out. And once you take this screw out, you can start taking out the bottom screws. And the bottom screws are over here. <clears throat> And we're going to go ahead and just take these out and we're going to use our small Phillips screwdriver and you can see why we're using the small Phillips screwdriver is because the distance between the screw and the center console is not very much and so it makes it easier to access with a small Phillips screwdriver as opposed to a longer size one. Now once that comes out, it should be coming off. The only part now is the top is clipped in and we're just gonna take our flat head, we're gonna wedge it in between and it's gonna pop off now. And you can see once it pops off, there's still a few more plugs that we have to take out for the climate control. And uh, there's a tab right here I'm going to push down on this tab, pull, same thing for this one, tab right here, push down, pull, and the climate control is going to come out now. Now you can see the radio is completely exposed and we can take our longer size Phillips screwdriver and we can start taking out these screws. So I'm going to go ahead and start here, I'll take out this screw, and you don't want to drop it down into the dashboard, so you want to use your hands. And there's also supposed to be another screw down here, but again, whoever worked on this car previously didn't decide to put those screws back in. I'm going to go ahead and take out this one now, on this side. And 
now it should just come off. And you just want to slide it out straight. And behind here, there's going to be more plugs. There's going to be one right here. I'm going to push down this tab. Pull. And there's going to be a pin. And you're just gonna, that's just going to slide out. And that's how you take out the radio. We're going to go ahead and grab the replacement radio. And we're going to put it back in. And the way this goes in, so we're going to start with the plugs. And they just slide in. So you don't have to worry about anything. Just one plug and the pin. And you want to make sure the rest of the plugs don't get caught underneath the radio. So you kind of want to put them out of the way. And we're going to note that the pins right here, these little black pins, you're going to want to make sure they go into the holes right here. And it's the same thing on the other side. There's a black pin and a hole. And we're just going to want to make sure that those pins slide in to the holes. And once you get that secure, we can put the we can put the screws back in. I wouldn't worry about tightening them too hard. You just want to make sure they get on the secure. You can see, and we don't have the bottom screws, so I can't show you how to do that. But finally, we can put on the climate control. And you can see here, there's two clips and we're going to want to make sure these two clips go into, into these two holes. We're going to go ahead and put the plugs back in and as soon as we put the plugs back in we can clip it in. Now once you clip this in, you're going to want to make sure it's on there secure and you're going to want to put this screw back in as well. Again, we don't have the screw so I can't show you how to do that. But once you put that screw in, we can go ahead and put the clock back in. And the reason why I said to make sure the plugs don't get caught underneath is so that you don't have a hard time pulling them out later. And we're just gonna put these back in. And you can see now the clock just slides in. No screws for the clock, it's just gonna slide in. And finally we can put the screws that are on the bottom in. Now after you do this, you're going to want to make sure you call the dealer and you get your radio code because of the anti-theft system. It's going to lock your radio. So call the dealer, they're going to ask you a few questions and then they should give you the code once you answer them. And that's how you're going to do that.
That's how you replace your radio. Thanks for watching.